The play is memory. Being a memory play is dimly lighted, it is sentimental, it is not realistic. Tom Wingfield is the narrator of the play. He is the son of Amanda. He provides for the family by working in a warehouse. He's unhappy with his life. Amanda is the mother in the household. Her husband left her. She's filled with paranoia. Laura Wingfield is the daughter of Amanda. She is a disappointment. She's crippled and she has an obsession with glass figurines. Tom spends his hours during the day working at a shoe warehouse. He hates it. Tom is the main source of income for the family's rent. Tom is sick of Amanda, but he must put up with her. Amanda also tells Tom that he smokes too many cigarettes. Tom says he goes to the movies every night. He comes home late at 2 a.m. drunk every night. It's an escape for him. Amanda spends most of her time at home, waiting. <laughs> Laura has been enrolled at business school. She's been enrolled for months. Amanda has thought she's been going, but she secretly dropped out due to anxiety. She spends her days walking in the parks, going to museums, spending time outside secretly. Amanda's husband has left on a business trip. She expects a postcard, but he will never return. Amanda believes that Laura should always have boys knocking at the door, as she did when she was younger. This is not the case. In the time that Laura spends at home, she is fascinated with her glass menagerie. Her collection of glass figures give her a place in this world. Tom takes out his anger on Laura's glass figures. She does not like this. Tom does not want to put up with his home anymore. Laura is overwhelmed with emotion, with the tension in her home. Once she's, her lie is discovered, she doesn't know what to do. Sorrows fill this family in hope of a better world.